everybody welcome to my youtube channel ikamalami uspelele kulu if this is the first time that you bump into this channel please do the right thing don't watch outside this family just hit that subscriber button join this family if you are a returning subscriber boo 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 please let's do the right thing guys okay i just came back from the office and this video was never even prepared but i'm gonna share a few things that makes me more excited and who am i talking to through this video maybe i'm talking to my students or maybe i'm talking to a general person who's staying at rest or someone who's sharing a room with someone uh, i think this this is this is all about maybe it will make sense as i start speaking this video is going to be titled as self-care or self-love that does not require any money any money okay let's go straight to the video the first point that i'm going to be sharing or talking about is keep your room clean i don't know about you guys if i come back from work and find my room very clean i am so super super excited like like i feel like i'm owning the world it's like i'm living in my own world you know when you come back from home and your bedding has been changed and what mina guys i get excited so guys all i'm saying is that it does not require any money for you to keep your room clean you can't be putting shoes all over the place all around you can't you can't guys you must know where your shoes are staying mina when i was a student guys i used to have boxes you know the boxes that you buy shoes with i will put my shoes there my takeies i always have that thing to make sure that my room is clean and neat so take care of your room make sure that it's clean all the time sometimes it doesn't make any sense to say to people keep your room clean because sometimes you think your room is clean okay let me give you my idea maybe my next point will be going straight to maybe pack your wardrobe I mean, I'm extreme. You don't even compete with, compare to, compete with me because I mean, I'm too extreme, but you can do something that will make you feel better. I mean, my, my clothes, they are packed according to colors. White, yellow, red, green, black. Everything is coordinated in terms of colors. I think it's because I once worked at my, my, my lady's mama. My late aunt used to appoint me during uh, holidays. I think I started having to that upset. I was getting obsessed with how is my wardrobe was to look like. You know, when you are working in a retail shop like my ladies, you will be able to be learning how to to. They used to call it flat pack. The way you 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 fold your 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 t shirts, you, your your clothes must be coordinated. Green is is staying there all these type of different ways jeans are there guys this is exactly what i still do even today i want my clothes to be coordinated sometimes my helper thinks like maybe i'm crazy but she found my wardrobe like that and she will always leave it like that this is me this is what i want and when i say i want a red t-shirt she knows where to find it but I used to have a friend that used to say to me at the university, he used to say, you know what, don't clean my room. I like my room the way it is because if everything is lying all over the place, at least I know where my shoes are, where is, where, where is what. Guys, we're just two opposite because Mina, I am a coordinated person. That's how I do my things. If things are not packed correctly, I, yo, I feel like I, 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 I messed up. Let's go back to another portion of the, 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 in our rooms, in our residence rooms, we have a, a space whereby you can put your clothes and then there's another space where you can put your grocery. Guys, keep your cupboard clean all the time. You must know where your tin stuff are, where your breakfast stuff is, where you can put your your tea or what, what, all those things that, like, just have this coordination so that you don't scared when someone is walking and open and asking for a, a sugar from, from you and then you are scared to open your, your, your cupboard because, yo, 
I don't think that I'll take your sugar if it's messed up. I'm talking about me. But other people don't see anything wrong. But I will always have that problem to say, mm, I want my things to be coordinated. I want things to be clean. Cupboard, you can keep it as clean as possible. Your noodles must be there. Your cornflakes, your muesli, your milk. Put them nicely. You know, it must just look and coordinated. And now when you open, like, you feel like, what am I, when am I going to have now? You know, simple things like that. Then let's go back to the fridge. You know, in our university, most students, they have those bar fridges. But people don't think that is supposed to be also organized. You can organize your fridge. You know, you put your juices, you put your fruits, you put all the things that you are using, your milk. Everything must be coordinated. If you don't know how to do it, just go to Google and check how to organize your, refrig your, your fridge. Simple stuff. You can do it. People are having Wi-Fi. I said this must be a cheap uh, way of taking care of yourself in your room and i mean if everything is clean in my place oh guys i feel very very good uh maybe moving along to now we spoke we spoke about the 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 the, the room the cupboard the 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 wardrobe and then we also spoke about the fridge now let's talk about the oh guys don't mix your dirty clothes with your clean clothes like at least like that basket or whatever that the shelf that you decide if you don't have a basket at least you can use maybe one shelf that you know this that the, the dirty clothes where i can put my dirty clothes these are my clean clothes you can't be just putting everything together i've seen that because I me mean, i'm talking about the things that i have experienced because i'm working at the university at the residence i see a lot of things when we do sport checks you know, we see a lot of things but all I'm saying is that you can just decide this is the cupboard where my dirty clothes are going to be. Here we have laundry. So you don't have to be worried about when to wash, when and how. So you can just be able to wash your, your, your stuff. And that's all. And you can be able to pay, pay, like decide where you can put. I'm talking about if you don't have a basket. Because most of people do have a basket. Most of the baskets are not that expensive. I'm talking about something that you already have. Then you can put your clothes in your dirty laundry. And then you can put your clean clothes in your wardrobe. You don't have to be, you know, just just, just do the right thing, man. Let's talk. Let's go straight now and talk about changing your body. At least... If you know that you are taking a shower, you are not taking a shower every night. Because you can just change your bedding at least one to two weeks. You can't have a bedding for the rest of the year, a month. You are sleeping on the same bed, you know, you're not bathing at night. you just keep coming back from the the classes. Our our university has a lot of... I'm a steep, nan, nan, nan. People are coming here very, very... They are sweating and so forth. So obviously, if you are not taking a shower at night, you need to at least change your bedding now and again, at least one or two weeks. At least, guys, guys, Mina, I don't know. Mina, if my bedding is has been changed, like, yo, I just want, I feel like I'm owning the world. I don't know about you, but it's possible. I feel good. I feel better. I feel like, you know, I'm going to sleep very nice, you know, like, so, guys, it's really, really important to change your body. Let's talk about the dishes. Because, guys, I have seen, you know, students, they don't like uh, washing their dishes. They just want to pile them, pile them until they finish all the dishes that they have. That's the only time they think that's the time that they can actually wash their dishes. Why are you sleeping with the dirty dishes in your sink? Just... You know, guys, number one, the smell in the morning that now you were eating, whatever that you ate, and then you put your dishes on the sink. And then the following day, if someone is knocking into your room, really, guys, how are you going to feel? Sometimes, you know, when you are inside the room, you don't feel the smell. You don't, you don't, you don't smell. But the person who's coming in can feel that, mm-mm-mm. 
my mama my mom used to say eh ngat beg leli ndota la I don't know why he would say that, but all I'm saying is that at least make sure that you wash your dishes every night before you sleep. You can't sleep because your rooms are very small, so you need to wash your dishes. I, I'm speaking like a Vivada now, you know, but all I'm saying is that it's easy because sometimes you're staying with someone else and someone has like has hygienic issues and then now you don't and then now you're so used to doing this thing but you are not considering the person that you are staying with so those things are really really important another thing that is more important open your windows in the morning it's very important you need that fresh air because it does not require any money for you to open your window. Some people they say it's cold and all that. You don't have to open the window the whole time, but you can open your window so that you can get that fresh air, so that your room can smell nice and you know it's easy. You don't have to do much, guys. Mm, what is the other point that I have? Who? Oh, another part that I've just realized is that most people don't know how to prepare their bed. Guys, people just, uh, you know, you know, a person just throw, throw the, 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 the juvet and so forth. Yo, Mina, guys, I've learned to do the bed when I was a girl guide, when I was doing grade three. You know, those beds that you do, like you're doing the hospital ones. Those are the ones that they used to teach us. Guys, since then, since then, my bed, super. Guys, you don't have to have an expensive duvet, but just have that nice duvet that when you are making your bed, you must make sure that it's actually, you iron it. Like, it must be like it's ironed. I mean, during my university times, people used to stay, they know that they don't sit on my bed because I, mean, I felt like if you sit on my bed, you must remember when you stand up, you must iron my bed because you were sitting there. Guys, I think sometimes I get very, very extreme, but someone will take one or two things and I don't think that uh, I'm too extreme. Probably there are people who are worse than me and guys. So guys, we were just talking about the simple thing. Let me see if I have got something else. Oh, the other thing that most students do, they wear dirty takeys and some of them, they don't even change their socks. The dirty silk takeys, guys. Please just refrain from wearing dirty takeys because sometimes you are wearing very nice clothes, but we can't even see, we can't even tell, we can't even say wow because the takeys are dirty. And some of them they are wearing take with with without socks, and some their feet they don't smell so nice. And guys, you don't are you not embarrassed though? Know? Guys, just make sure that you take care of yourself. Those things are very simple. Everyone, anyone can just do it. It's easy. Guys, I didn't prepare this video, but I got a bounce. I got a bounce. I got a bounce. I got a bounce, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope I didn't offend anyone. I hope I didn't uh, say much of the things that maybe are not... Uh, uh, appropriate guys please make sure that forgive me it's just me i used to be like that and yes i'm gonna be coming with a lot of videos like this ones and it doesn't have to be about the rooms about the things that you have to keep yourself clean but there are certain things like the cheap way the next one that i'm gonna do maybe is gonna be how do you take care of your body the cheaper way ne? i think i promise i'm gonna do that Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like this video and subscribe. And most of the people are viewing my videos, but they do not subscribe. Guys, subscribing is not expensive. You just click that uh, red button that says subscribe. And for you to see my videos without me telling you that I've uploaded the video, you can just be able to uh, see by you clicking that notification bell that's so that you can be able to see that the other video has been uploaded. Boo, 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 boo. I just gonna bounce.
I got a bounce it, I got a bounce.